So let's just talk about this custom room named as Project Infinity X. I've talked about this custom room already in my previous videos also. It's updated to another latest version. It's still based on Android 16, of course, having the latest security patch and so on. But with this new update, we have some outstanding cheese, outstanding things are included. So let's have a quick look at some of the things included in this, in this new version of Project Infinity X custom room. If you move on to one of the main highlights of this update, it's called Play Integrity Fix Inbuilt Play Integrity Fix. As you can see, three green ticks. We have basic, device strong. Everything is passing without any keybox and so on. Although it still has the option to apply keybox if you have any, but if you do not have the keybox, you can simply move on to spoofing options and click on update play integrity fix right now while making this video. It's working fine. So no issues with that. You can go ahead and install this thing. And remember one thing that these kind of things, these kind of solutions are temporary. So if it is not working for you, you have to find out a new keybox and so on. But the, the thing is right now it's working fine and it is passing very well. Moving on to some of the things with this new update, we have some other background chip options with the status bar clock styles. If you're able to notice at the top left of the status bar, the background chip behind the clock, it is actually one of the things which matters a lot in the terms of customization. If you're into customization and you have a lot of options available. We also have in this new update, we have another new thing named as sidebar, which is already there in many custom rooms and this one too, but we have more extra options, many extra customizations with this one. For example, show app suggestion, auto enable in some particular Android apps. And including this, we have the option for sidebar customization, which you can adjust the slider settings, layout settings, visual effects, and so on. This is just really good. And as far as I know, for now, right now, while making this video, this thing is not present in many of the other custom rooms out there. These are some noticeable changes which you are getting with the latest update of Project Infinity X right now. But it is actually one of the most customizable custom rooms. With Android 16, things are a bit changed because in Android 15, there were a lot of features, a lot of customizations. And many features, many customizations are actually missing from Android 16. But one by one, or you can say with few of the updates, we are getting a lot of features back. So that's really good. It's quite improved as compared to the first initial version, which was based on Android 16. As you can see, it is having all the theming options, for example, fonts customizations, a lot of fonts already there. We have icon pack customization and so on. And also the new UI, new preview UI is also there. Icon shape customizations, you just notice signal icons, Wi-Fi icons and navigation bar style and so on. These are some theming options available in this case. If you move on to status bar options, you will notice same options. I mean, which I've just shown you right now, the background chip behind the clock and custom logo, some gestures, padding option is also there. I'm not showing you these options are not present and I'm not saying that these options are not present in any other custom room, but it's just one of the things which is available with all other thing, all other custom rooms too and so as in this one too. The quick settings panel is uh, actually a nice one, which is having the blur already enabled, the new brightness slider and so on. So that's good. Quick settings already have few of the other tweaks too. Buttons, which brings you some minor tweaks here and there. You can even enable the volume percentage if you want to enable it. It's totally up to you. It's disabled by default, but you can enable it in case you want to. If you move on to some power menu options, does not have extra tweaks, only one of the tweaks named as power menu style and some other options. If you move on to notification options, you will notice compact heads up notifications are there, edge lighting notifications are there and few of the other tweaks. Many things are coming very, very soon with some other new updates. So make sure to follow the channel for a lot of new updates. If you move on to miscellaneous options, you will notice all these spoofing options, all the security bypass features are at least present in this case. Application downgrade, the option for no storage restrict, ignore windows secure flags and so on. All the options are already present. So these were things I just wanted to let you know. If you want to check this out, you can. It's available for many supported devices. It's available officially, unofficially. So you can go and explore this thing. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.